next in line. Viking Tactics or Pretac. Brokos or Brokos, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, gun belt. Um, this is obviously a, a, a Molly webbing belt designed to be worn around your waist. Um, and the reason I went for this, uh, which for anyone unfamiliar with these videos, I probably shouldn't have said at the start, but the basic idea with this isn't to do a full in-depth review, it's just why I feel these products are a good and they why they're worth you spending your hard-earned cash on them. This belt has, unfortunately I haven't brought another belt to show you exactly, but it has one very distinguishing feature that makes it different from any other Molly battle belt you'll find out there. And it, it's $99 and 95, you know, it's $100. That's expensive for a belt like this. Even in, you know, cry multicam, cry webbing, it's got all your sort of air text mesh there, that's what makes it more comfortable and all that good stuff. That's still a high price tag. Reason is that the construction of this is quite complicated. And what it enables you to do is to mount normal molly pouches to all the supplied molly webbing that as you can see goes all the way around but then if you've got a holster or a pistol magazine pouch or any other magazine pouch usually kydex ones um, in terms of holsters and pouches there's a lot of kydex pouches and like i say pistol holsters out there nowadays they're very popular problem with them is a lot of them cannot be mounted to the molly webbing they only can be mounted to just a, a belt a standard plain belt um, but quite often you find yourself thinking, well, I want some of these, there's a huge range of molly pouches out there and I want a couple on my belt. But I also want, say, a Raven concealment systems or G-Code. There's loads of Kydex holsters out there or making your own even, that's a lot of people do that. I want to mount one of them to my pistol belt or my belt rig, second line, whatever you want to call it. And you can't, and it's tricky to do both. Uh, it's hard to set your um, equipment up to do both. What you'll notice is that the, uh, the segments of molly webbing are broken up. Yeah, so you, um, you feed your the actual duty belt that you're gonna that is obviously gonna have hold the clip to hold this all together. You feed it through at the front here, and then what you can do instead of just going underneath all of these molly um, squares patches, is you can alternate. So you might go, for example, say you're right-handed shooter. This is the right-hand side of your belt around your right-hand hip. Right-hand side of your hip. So you feed it through under these first couple, underneath, underneath, and then you can come out on top and go over this one and then maybe over that one as well. And then get, when it gets round to your back, you go underneath the molly weapon again. And then on this side, for your actual pistol magazine pouches, you might be using molly ones, for example, tacos, 10 speeds, eagle, whatever. They mount straight onto the molly. And then what you've got on this side is a stretch of the plain belt exposed. And then you put your pistol holster straight onto there. And that is a very unique feature. I mean, as far as I know, this is the only belt that gives you that ability. So it's quite unique. Um, suspension points here for uh, suspenders to uh, follow them all the way around. Help spread the weight out across your shoulders a little bit. Very, very useful, very handy bit of kit. Last thing, now this is uh, quite, quite um, pleased with this particular purchase, I have to admit. Um, it's a very unassuming package, as you can see. Only label, medium, that's it. This is the Ice Tactical Fire Resistant Underbody Armor Combat Shirt. This will cost you $172, but that's what fire resistant gear costs, unfortunately. You can see, cry not to come again. Now, it is a U-Bax, but it has one differentiating feature, differentiating feature, something that's different about it to most other bits of equipment. The centre portion, the thin wicking material, is still the multicam pattern. Even the Cry Generation 3 combat shirt, that bit is just plain tan. The only two combat shirts I know with this design feature are the Arc'teryx, which is around the same price as this one, and this, the Ice, ice Tactical. 
Oh, here's the name. Yes. Firestorm, that's what it's called. As you can see there, icetactical.com. It is made of 71% mod acrylic, 24% fire resistant rayon, and 5% spandex. Um, sleeves are your sort of standard BDU material. It's not the ripstop design, but uh, it'll be tough enough to do the job. Especially, I mean, this is designed for desert operations. In the day. This is designed for guys in Afghanistan that are, they need that fire resistant quality for, you know, when IEDs go off. Um, it's a bit over the top for me, airsofting, but the reason I went for it was purely for that centre portion because there's only those two designs out there that do it. So I had, uh, this is what I had to go for um, cause, because I wanted that feature. Yeah, let's say designed for Afghanistan, it's designed for hot, hot environments. So the material is nice and thin, it's going to be comfortable in the heat. As usual with most modern combat shirts, you've got your Velcro squares on the sleeves there. Are they pockets? Yeah, they are pockets on the, the, uh, on the sleeves, one on each side. Zip access on the front. Same on both sides. It's the left sleeve. Um, you have got built in padding on the elbows. See there? Oh, well, I'm not sure if it's padding. It's reinforcement at any rate, that area. Got extra material layered on just for uh, to protect against when you're crawling along or whatever. Partial zip up the front. Yeah, help them getting it on and off. It's a covered zip. You can see there, so the actual plastic isn't going to be um, rubbing against your skin. It's going to be protected. And uh, yeah, um, very well designed. It's flat stitching, keep it comfortable. And obviously, you would expect good design for that sort of price tag. But yeah, uh, again, another another product with a fairly unique feature to it in that it is the full patterned torso area uh, so yeah that's everything that order um, all the products that I've shown there are available on the Optac website I'll put the URL down in the video description um, they're all they'll be easier to find using the search feature that uh, the Optac site has so if you're interested head on over there take a look they've got lots of other stuff they do a very good range. All the products they stock are you know, top of the line at the end of the day. Um, their prices are very good as well, which is why I shop with them so often. As you'll look back through some of my videos, I've done a fair few other unboxing videos uh, from them with boxes of stuff that I purchased from them. So yeah, very good guys. Uh, and that is all for today. Thanks very much for watching guys. Um, if you're interested in some more, hit the old subscribe button. One of these days I will remember which side it is when it's uploaded. Uh, and uh, yeah, any questions, post them in the comments below. See you next time.